All right, guys. So in this video, we'll find the inner derivative of y is equals to ax plus b to the power minus one. So we want to find the inner derivative of y. All right. So let's start with the first derivative, right? So if I want to find the first derivative of this expression, so we'll apply the regular formula that is n ax plus b to the power n minus 1. Okay, so y, so this will be equal to minus 1 ax plus b to the power minus 2 and then we will differentiate ax plus b, so into a, right? So first we differentiate this ax plus b, ax plus b to the power minus 1 expression and then we differentiate ax plus b. So we got a. Okay, so second time y double dash um, will differentiate this expression. So minus 1 into minus 2 ax plus b to the power minus 3 and a square. All right. And uh, third time y3 minus 1 minus 2 into minus 3 ax plus b to the power minus 4. And here it's uh, aq. So if you see the pattern here, um, for y2 it's minus 1 and minus 2 and here we have minus 3 and here we have 2. For y3 it goes till 3 and the exponent here is minus 4 and the exponent of a is 3. That means if I find the nth derivative, so when, when we have 3 here it goes up to 3. That means n factorial okay and when we have 3 here the exponent is minus 4 that means a x plus b minus n plus 1 right a x plus b to the power minus n plus 1 into a a here I have here while finding the third third derivative we have third the exponent of a is 3 so here also the exponent of a will be n for nth, nth derivative and um, and if you observe the sign n is even the sign uh, there is no there is no negative sign and when is when n is odd that is 3 uh, the sign is negative right because minus 1 into minus 2 into minus 3 will give a negative sign uh, on the on the left hand of the expression right so for n derivative minus 1 to the power n all right so minus 1 so if I have so if n is equal to 2 then there will be no then there will be no negative sign and if n is equals to um, if n is odd 3 or 5 then there will be a negative sign 